It's my best friend's birthday this weekend and guess who's responsible for throwing an amazing party together. Okay, I'll admit that over these past years, I've been a bit lazy with this responsibility. But this year, I'm stepping up my game. Here's what I need to do. Number one, plan an amazing party. And number two, ask friends and family to come to this amazing party. But I don't want to send those boring basic WhatsApp invites. Instead, I'm going to be building a full-on save the date, big event, RSVP style website. So, let's begin. So I was scrolling through Pinterest for some design inspiration, looking at different event websites as well as party posters when I came across gold. So I saw this website webdesignmuseum.org that has a list of how different websites used to look like in the early 1990s and mid 2000s. And check this out. So here's how McDonald's website used to look like in 1996. I love how simple and fun it is. This is how the Simpsons website used to look like in 1996. This also looks so much fun. Here's Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, GTA Vice City in 2002, Pizza Hut in 2006 and many more. So I created this mood board of all of these different websites that inspired me and I knew I had to recreate something in this aesthetic. One thing that I see in this mood board that is common in all of these different websites is the use of some really interesting color palettes as well as imagery. Back then all of these websites seemed so much more fun. Another thing that I notice here are the layouts. So I've talked about the Vento layout in one of my videos previously and it looks like this design trend has always been around. So I'm going to start with a rough mock-up of how my website is going to look like. I just want to lay out all of these different sections and see where it goes. First up, I have this header section at the top where I am going to put the main title, which is going to be something around the lines of you're invited to Urvashi's birthday eve. Below that, I've basically just added a bento layout. For the party, I bought a bunch of these party smart capsules that basically relieves you from all of those unpleasant side effects of a party. I bought some biodegradable spoons and forks because I don't think I have enough cutlery. Party smart, safe and effective, supports healthy liver, hangover prevention for a better morning. Then I have the section for home cooked food where I'm probably going to add information about all of the items that I'm planning to make that day. So we only do healthy snacks in this house. That's why I ordered some makhanas or lotus seeds, popped lotus seeds. I'm just kidding, I also have some lace here. Then I have a separate section for the cake because I love that cake. Then you have some important information about the time and the date of the party. I browsed through Pinterest for some fun drinking games and I shortlisted a few that were easier to play. I already have a bunch of board games but I ordered this drinking game card set which I thought would be fun. The person sitting on your left go through your phone's photo gallery for 15 seconds and get the drink or drink 5 sips. Do 12 push-ups or squats or drink 3 sips. Okay, this one is interesting. Start a verbal fight with anyone in the group after a few minutes. If you successfully put on a show, you get the drink. If you fail, drink four sips. Then I have this section for my Wi-Fi details so that the guests could connect to the Wi-Fi easily. Then I have this RSVP now section which is probably going to be connected to a tally form so that I know who's coming. And most importantly, we also need music for a party. So YouTube lets you create these collaborative playlists where you and your friends can add music, songs, videos. So I'm planning to create one for the party and everyone can add their own favorite songs to this playlist and hopefully that way no one gets bored. Lastly this section is just thank you for coming, a gallery of the photos from the party. So basically this section is going to make more sense after the party has already happened and then I have another section where people can actually submit their own photos that they took at the party. So for this I'm just going to use a google drive. So that's how the layout is going to look like. Now let's jump to the design. While I developed this website, let's talk about a few design decisions that I made that are reminiscent of the 90s web design trend. 
के स्टार्टिंग विद फिक्स्ड विथ लेआउट बैक देन मोस्ट ऑफ दीज साइट्स वर डिजाइन फॉर सिक्स फोर्टी बाई फोर एटी और एट हंड्रेड बाई सिक्स हंड्रेड पिक्सल स्क्रीन नाउ डेज वी हैव लार्जर स्क्रीन बट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू रेप्लीकेट द फील ऑफ अ स्मॉलर स्क्रीन ब्राइट एंड क्लैशिंग कलर्स आर ऑल्सो एन इम्पॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक सो आई एम गोइंग टू गो ऑल आउट विद द कलर्स हेयर स्पेशली फॉर द बैकग्राउंड इन द नाइनटीज बैकग्राउंड वर ऑफ्टन टाइल्ड विद रिपीटिंग पैटर्न सो हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दिस एस वी जी पैटर्न दैट आई फाउंड ऑन दिस वेबसाइट कॉल्ड हीरो पैटर्न डॉट कॉम लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द फॉन्ट्स नेक्स्ट बैक देन वी हैड लिमिटेड ऑप्शन फॉर द फॉन्ट्स सो यू कैन थिंक ऑफ पैपेरस एंड कॉमिक सेंस everywhere but at the same time you could also see multiple font styles combined together with different styles and colors so i found some cool title fonts on google which i'm going to use and for the paragraph text i'm going to go ahead with this pixelated font or you know what maybe i should use comic sans you also had 3d buttons bevels and shadows everywhere pages used to be overly crowded so i'm not afraid of adding too much text or too many images also we had an excessive use of pop ups and scroll bars everywhere and links used to look like this simple underlined text you also had marquees which is now a deprecated tag and blinking text that just begs for your attention there was also a frequent use of gifs and clip art in the 2000s we entered the adobe flash era a lot of websites were also influenced by apple's design that led to shiny glossy reflective buttons you could also see websites that made use of javascript for design enhancements for example the mouse following effect of cursor traits so What do you guys think? Would you use it for your next big party? Because you totally can. I have made the code public on GitHub. All you need to do is fork, change the necessary text and the links, and just use Vercel for deploying it. It's super simple. All you need to do is create an account, link your repository, and hit deploy. If you want to go the extra mile maybe add a domain but it's fine as it is that's all for this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video then you can check out this or this video next